Today on Rappler. Filipinos online criticize senators wearing West Philippine sea shirts at the Gilas match versus China as performative. The Senate Finance Committee approves the proposed 2.3 billion peso Office of the Vice President budget, including the 500 million peso intelligence funds. Meta says Apollo Kibuloy's accounts violated its policies on dangerous organizations and individuals. The MTRCB suspends noontime show its showtime for 12 days. Gilas Pilipinas qualifies for another shot at the 2024 Paris Olympics. Filipino pole vault star E.J. Obiena finally gets a gold at the ISTAF Berlin. Another musical based on an OPM band's songs is in the works. This time, it's Parokya ni Edgar. And international celebrities take on SB19's Gento Dance Challenge. Senators Joel Villanueva, Mig Zubiri, Bato de la Rosa, and Bongo attend the FIBA World Cup match between Gilas Pilipinas and China, wearing shirts with West Philippine Sea printed on them. Filipinos online criticize the quote, performative stunt of the senators with some saying quote, they don't do anything aside from just wearing t-shirts, alluding to the lukewarm response of senators to China's bullying of Filipino fishermen in the West Philippine Sea. China has been harassing Filipino fishermen and calling on the Philippines to remove the BRP Shera Madre, manned by a small team of Philippine Marines in the West Philippine Sea. In an interview with Teleradio Serbicio, Senator Francis Tolentino comes to the defense of his colleagues, saying there is, quote, nothing wrong with wearing the West Philippine Sea shirts. The Senate Committee on Finance approves the proposed 2.3 billion peso budget of the Office of the Vice President for 2024 including 500 million pesos in confidential and intelligence funds. The deliberations were cut short when Senator Bong Revilla moved to terminate the budget hearing as courtesy to the country's second highest official. Well, uh, traditionally, uh, with due re respect and courtesy to the second highest leader of our country, when the budget uh, of the Office of the Vice President is tackled here in the committee, the Deliberations are terminated after a few uh, pleasantries. Uh, ito po ang uh, nakakagawian natin base sa tradisyon na pagkilala at pagbibigay respeto sa sino mang uh, umuupo na Vice Presidente. Only the Senate Minority Bloc ask questions. Senator Risa Ontiveros points out Duterte's request of 500 million pesos is bigger than the confidential funds of the Defense Department in the proposed 2024 budget. Duterte says she was not insisting to have confidential and intelligence funds in her office's budget, but the money makes their work at the OVP easier. We are not insisting. We can live without confidential funds. But of course, our work Will be, co will be much easier if we have uh, the flexibility of confidential funds. Facebook parent firm Meta confirms to Rappler that the takedown of Kingdom of Jesus Christ and SMNI founder Apollo Kibuloy was due to violations of its policies on dangerous organizations and individuals. Users online found the Facebook URL facebook.com slash kingdomnation was inaccessible as early as Monday, August 28. Meta says praise, support, or representation of the group or its activities will be removed as well. The policy on Facebook's page states it does not allow, quote, organizations or individuals that proclaim a violent mission or are engaged in violence to have a presence on Meta. Kibuloy was indicted in the U.S. for sex trafficking charges and bulk cash smuggling, among others. He is also on the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation's most wanted list. The Facebook takedowns come after Kibuloy's YouTube channel was terminated in June. His TikTok account was banned in July. The Movie and Television Review and Classification Board suspends ABS-CBN's noontime show its showtime for 12 airing days. On July 31, MTRCB issued a notice to the producers to appear and testify due to alleged indecent acts by hosts Vice Ganda and Ion Perez during the show's July 25 episode. While the MTRCB didn't specify the details of the segment, a cut from the episode shows Vice Ganda taking some cake icing from Ion's fingers before tasting it and greeting Ion a happy monthsary. In the notice, the MTRCB says the exchange is in violation of Section 3C of Presidential Decree No. 1986, 
which gives the MTRCB power to approve, disapprove, and delete objectionable portions of a broadcast. Its showtime can file a motion for reconsideration. Gilas Pilipinas gets another crack at the Paris Olympics. After missing out on an outright ticket to Paris, the Philippines qualifies for the Olympic Qualifying Tournament, or OQT, as it ended its FIBA World Cup run on a high note with a 96-75 win over China on Saturday, September 2. Gilas winds up 24th out of the 32 participating countries and secures one of the 19 OQT berths up for grabs in the World Cup. Meantime, USA Basketball folds for the first time in the World Cup, as Lithuania dominates all the way for a 110-104 shocker win on Sunday, September 3. The Americans express disappointment with their first loss in five games. They just punched us in the mouth. I mean, right away, they, were, they made every shot, they executed. And uh, so I don't think it was a case of us not being ready. Um, I think it was a case of them playing uh, a perfect first quarter. Filipino pole vaulter E.J. Obiena captures the gold medal in the ISTAF Berlin in Germany following a 5.92-meter clearance on Sunday, September 3. Obiena tops the 12-man field as he got back on track after seeing his medal streak snapped with a surprising 10th-place finish in the Weltklasse Zurich in Switzerland. After two tries, Obiena soars past 5.92 meters in his final attempt to break through in the event which saw him fall short the past years. In a post, Obiena writes, finally got this outdoor trophy after so many years of coming up short. This edition marked the fourth time Obiena joined ISTAF Berlin. It's official, OPM band Parokya ni Edgar is the next Filipino act to have a musical based on their songs. Newport World Resorts Musicals announces fans can attend the special preview of the musical ahead of its public premiere. NWR Musicals will have a live stream session on September 8 from 3 p.m. to 3.30 p.m., where the first 30 users to guess the correct title in the comments will get an invite to the special preview. Additional details such as its plot, cast members, and show dates have yet to be announced. The organizers first teased about the Parokya ni Edgar musical in July. During the final curtain call of Ang Huling El Bimbo musical, the cast sang a portion of the band's hit song, Harana. Parokya ni Edgar is known for its songs Your Song, Pangarap Lang Kita, Gitara, and Silver Toes. Peepop powerhouse SB19 strikes gold as its Gento Dance Challenge continues to make rounds online. In June, SB19 entered Billboard's World Digital Song Sales chart with their latest comeback single Gento alongside artists like Selena Gomez and BTS. One of the earliest international celebrities to hop on the dance challenge was 21's main dancer Minzy, who says fellow 21 member Dara recommended the challenge to her. Super Junior's Unhyuk also hops on the trend, even garnering a sheesh of approval from SB19 members in the comments. ATZ's San also performs the challenge with fellow member Mingi dancing the choreography at the group's Chile concert on August 30. In Hypen's Jungwon, Gravity members Hyungjun and Taeyong also participate in the dance challenge. SB19 stands at the forefront of the P-pop genre, breaking records with songs like Bazinga, Where You At, and Gento. And that's today's wrap. I'm Nina Liu. Thank you for watching. Click the link below for the full story. Follow us on Rappler's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Thank you.